In this lesson, we're going to talk about lines of best fit. Now, a line of best fit is also known as a trend line, and it's a line that best represents data shown in a scatter plot. Now, you might recall that a scatter plot shows the relationship between two sets of data. For example, we have a scatter plot here below, and the two sets of data are shown on the x and y axis. So, on the x axis, you have the inches of snow on the ground, and on the y axis, you have the profit from ski helmet sales. So this scatter plot shows the relationship between the amount of snowfall and the amount of sales in ski helmets. Now you would make some general assumptions that as more snow falls, that more and more people are going to want to ski and therefore buy more and more helmets. Now the best way to make predictions about the amount of snow and the amount of profit in ski helmet sales would be to make a trend line based off of this data. As you can see, there's already a line drawn on the scatter plot, and this line was drawn by making sure that roughly the same number of points fall above and below the line. So this is our trend line, and what we want to do is find the equation that represents this line, and therefore find the equation that best represents the relationship between these two variables, or these two data points. So you have the slope-intercept form of a line as y equals mx plus b. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by finding the slope, which is m. Now m is found by finding the difference in two y values over the difference in two x values. Now you can pick any point that falls on this trend line, but for our purposes I'm going to pick the point 10, which looks like 940, so right there, so 10, 940, and I'm going to pick the point 30, 1220, which is right there, so 30, 12, 20. Now pick a point that you can easily see on the line and then you can go from there. So set up your slope, right? So we want to subtract 1220 minus 940. Those are the y coordinates, right? 1220 minus 940. And put that over the difference in the x coordinates. So 30 minus 10. When you do the subtraction, you get 280 on top and 20 below. And this simplifies to 14. So the slope of this line is 14. Now that you know the slope, what you want to do is find the y-intercept. And to do that, choose one of the points that you began working with. So I'm going to choose the point right here, 10, 940. And we have to keep in mind that our slope has a value of 14. So now we're going to use the same y equals mx plus b form and substitute in the values that we know, given the point and the slope. So 940 gets substituted for y, and then 14 gets substituted for m. Multiply that by the x-coordinate, which is 10, and then plus b. 14 times 10 is 140, and then plus b, that's what we have on the right side, and then 940 remains the same for now. To solve for b, subtract 140 from both sides. 940 minus 140 is a difference of 800, so that means the y-intercept for this trend line is 800. We can write this as one large equation given that we know both the slope and y-intercept now. So you, the trend line is represented by the equation y equals 14x plus 800. So now let's use this uh, trend line that we've found the equation for to make a prediction about the future. So let's scroll down and make some space. Now what do I mean make a prediction? Well notice that the inches of snowfall only goes up to 50. So what if I wanted to know what would the profit from ski helmet sales be if there were 60 inches of snowfall? Now 60 inches of snowfall means x equals 60. So what you would do is use your equation that you already have made and then substitute x equals 60 and solve for y. So y equals 14 times 60 plus 800. When you multiply you get 14 times 60 is 840 plus 800 and then that means y equals 1640 or 1640. Now that means if snow falls to 60 inches, right? If we have 60 inches of snow on the ground, then we're estimated to about have about $1,640 in profit. And that's if the trend continues as it's been showing um, as the scatter point includes these points, right? So if the trend line continues, if the trend between snowfall and profit continues as it is, we expect about $1,600 in profit. Let's try another problem together. The equation y equals 2x plus 350, or 
represents the cost of a taxi ride. Which graph best represents this data? Now remember, when you're talking about the trend line, you have the line in slope intercept form, so y equals mx plus b. So that means we're looking for a graph that b has a value of 3.5, or $3.50, since we're talking about cost. Now let's take a look. This graph right here seems to cross the y-axis as 3.5, so this is a potential contender. Let's look at b. B seems as though it crosses the y in the y axis at 4. So this can't be in the running anymore because we know that the y intercept should be 3.5 and this y intercept looks to be about 4, if not a little greater. So we're going to cross that one off. Now let's take a look at C. Again, this graph does seem to cross the y intercept in between 3 and 4, so it could have a value of 3.5. So this one's still in the running as well. Now what we want to do is use the equation to find other points on the graph. So let's plug in a point from graph A into the equation. For example, I see that graph A includes the point 1, 5. So let's plug that into the equation and see what happens. We're going to use 1, 5 in the equation y equals 2x plus 3.5. So now substitute 5 for y, 2 times 1 plus 3.5. Now what we're looking is for the left side of the equation to equal the right side of the equation. And then we know that this graph does reflect the line described in the prompt. So let's begin by multiplying. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3.5. Now 5 stays the same. 2 plus 3.5 is 5.5. This equation does not hold true, which means this graph does not represent the data shown or the equation given. Now we can try a point from graph C, and let's use the point 1, and it looks like 1 corresponds with 5.5 here, so we have 1, 5.50. 5, so let's try this point, and I'll do that in green. So substitute again, 5.5 .5 is the y value, because that's what we're working with here, equals 2 for the slope times 1 for x plus 3.5. So 5.50, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3.5. Now take the sum of the right side, and you get 5.5. This does hold true. This line does match the equation shown, so graph C best represents the data about the taxi ride. In this lesson, you've practiced working with trend lines. Thanks for watching.